Hello there, I am Cy Rodriguez, and today I'm going to talk with you about something that I think you're going to find very interesting, and you've probably never heard anything quite like this before, but it is about how to remove warts and moles, and I'm not interested in removing every mole, and I don't think you should be either. Um, but I did it as an experiment because I wanted to see it would work, if it would work after removing a wart from my face that was something that I really did not want to have, obviously. Um, it didn't look good and it um, made me feel self-conscious and people wondered what it was. So I'm going to go ahead to start off and show you a clip from when I had the wart, which was right here. and. Um, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about to start and then we'll go from there. Hello, my name is Cy Rodriguez and I am going to be talking with you today about something that you can see on my skin right here and this is some kind of a wart or a mole or a skin tag. Um, I'm not happy about it but it's there and I want to get rid of it. It's been there for quite a while and and it's changed a little bit and some people have become concerned about it in my family telling me I should go and have a doctor look at it and I usually try to take care of things on my own um, if it were to grow substantially then of course I would consider going and having it looked at and hopefully removed but um, I'm not really worried about it right now and I do think it will disappear as I've seen other kinds of moles on my body at different times that were kind of like this that came and left and or and it sometimes even fell off so um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close-up look at it so you can witness and see it that it's there and then if at some point it's gone then you can be my witness that it was there because sometimes if a person says they had something on their body and it's gone now you might not believe them because you didn't see it for yourself. So here's your opportunity to see for yourself. So let's go ahead and give you a close-up look. Well, I'm pretty sure that, that gives you a pretty good look at what it is. And um, let's see if we can get rid of this thing. Okay, so you've seen the work. And um, I want to show you now that it's completely gone. Give you as close up of a view as I can where it was at right here and it is gone there's no trace of it it's been gone for a while I wanted to make sure that it was really gone um, and it's been gone for several months if not like six months or something like that so it's not coming back at least it doesn't seem to be and um, I'm going to explain what I did so first of all um, I prepared some mud and I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of what the mud looked like. It's a little bit dry right now, but you could use this kind of mud. And I made this mud from some zeolite powder, which turned into a zeolite clay, and a little bit of filtered water also with some colloidal silver. And so I'll show you. This is the zeolite clay that I used. It comes in a powder. It's like a dirt, but it has a strong drying power. And um, so it's able to pull things out. It also um, kind of attaches itself to heavy metals and things like that. Um, but anyways, I used that and I mixed it together with colloidal silver like this. This one right here is uh, 250 parts per million. Um, you can probably use something that's not as strong as that, but that's what I used in this particular concoction or whatever you want to call this mud clay that I made. And what I did is I treated these wort, or this wort and also a mole, as if it were a pimple. <laughs> like when you're a kid, I don't know if you ever had a white head or something and you did this kind of thing on your face. Well, that's the kind of a feeling, and that's kind of what I did um, to make it lose its blood supply and also just try and squeeze it away from my body and out of my body first of all so I also just want to give you fair warning that I'm not a medical doctor and I realize that this could be dangerous for some people in certain situations 
if you have some type of cancer, cancerous growth, it is possible that you could cause it to spread. And so um, I want you to take responsibility for yourself and go see a doctor if you're, you have any concern. But if you're like me and you're not going to see a doctor and you're willing to take a risk, then this might be something you want to try. And it worked for me and I think it will work for you. So keep it in mind what we're talking about, about thinking of the wart or mole like a pimple and you're going to squeeze it away from your skin and out. And the idea is you're going to cut off the blood supply and you also want to cause it to like become like a scab so that your body wants to get rid of it, that your body thinks it's something that it doesn't need anymore. And that is what I did, and I did this in the shower. I wanted to keep it nice and clean, so I would jump in the shower, wash the area of skin where I had the wart, and then I did what I'm about to show you I did, and then I washed it again, and I made sure to wash my body after that. Um, so ju just to make sure that if there was anything contagious, that it wasn't going to spread around on anywhere else on my body. And um, then after coming out, I used the mud with the colloidal silver to make sure that um, not only did it have some antibiotic property in it, but that it also had the mud to give the power to draw whatever was in my skin out. So that's the idea. But what I did literally is I took the skin, it's right around here, and this is not anything. This is like a divot probably from some injury in my life, but it's not, this is not a growth, just so you know. Um, but it was right here. Let's just say I got behind the skin, like I'm going to pinch somewhere else where it's easier to pinch. Like, so let's say that it's right here. <laughs> I got behind the skin and I pinched and pushed out and I held it for maybe about a minute or so. Um, but I also squeezed outward like this so that I could get it to kind of squeeze out of my skin. and. As I did that, um, some bleeding happened. There was also stuff that came out of the skin. Um, and I cleaned it up. And then I did this for several days in a row. And I wasn't afraid to really push it hard. And what I noticed as time went on, that, which wasn't too much time, actually. I really decided that I was going to get rid of this. Um, it just shrunk up and at some point it got really dry and then like pieces of skin fell off and then it was gone completely and um, it probably took once I really started to do it because I had put some mud on it before but that didn't really it might it dried it out a little bit but that didn't really do too much it was when I actually started squeezing it as if it were a pimple and I wanted to cut off that blood supply scar the blood supply actually damage any kind of blood vessels that might be going to it so that it would lose its life force. Um, that's when I really got the results. And it only took a few days after that for it to pretty much be, I could see that it was going to go away and then there was no trace of it within about a week or so. So um, it doesn't take very long once you get after it like that. And what I recommend is maybe taking a shower at nighttime so that you can wear the mud on it overnight while you sleep. Just make sure it dries before you get into bed, which it only takes a few minutes for it to dry and that way um, you won't be in public with the mud on your face if that's not something that you want to do but um, and then you can just wash it off in the morning or whatever and then repeat the process again the next evening um, but if you're at home and you're not around people I just recommend keeping the mud on it as much as you can do it all day if you can and then just wash it once a day and repeat the process so that is how I removed a wart from my skin and after that I got the idea wow what if you could remove moles from your body because I had a couple of moles I don't have any really bad moles that I'm are unsightly or anything like that but I just wanted to see if you could remove them and so I'm going to show you what a mole was that I removed and just to give you an idea about the size of the mole it was one of the bigger moles on my body I'm looking for something I can compare it to but if you just look at that mole right here was something about the size of that mole um, and I removed it from part of my body I'm about to show you um, and there's really not much of a trace of it and I say not much because you can see where it was but you can also see that um, 
there's no scar. There's like a slight discoloration of the skin where it was at. And I removed it exactly the same way as I removed this other mole. Or as I removed the wart, I'm sorry. So, I'm just going to show you. It's down by my underwear line, so I'm just going to try and keep this as easy to see without like showing you too much here. And so, you actually can't even really see that it was there, but it was right here. There's a slight discoloration of the skin right there, and that's where it was. And that was a full-on mole, dark color, and I just did exactly the same thing that I showed you that I did with the wart, and that got rid of it. And so, um, seemingly, you could get rid of many moles from your body if you wanted to do that as well. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend that unless it's really something that's one that's an unsightly one and you're willing to take that risk, like I said, because I am willing to take that risk. I'm the kind of person that doesn't really go to the doctor. I like to do my own research and find out what's going on with me and then do something about it myself. But if I had to go to the doctor, I definitely would. And I recommend that you do too, especially if you have any concern and don't even try anything like this if you're not willing to take a risk. But I hope this helped you. I really believe that it's um, something that can work for you in if you have anything going on like what I did. I mean, uh, work like that was on my head here or some kind of mole that you just don't want to be there anymore. It probably isn't going to hurt you to try what I tried. Just remember, we're not like digging into the skin with our nails or anything like that. All we're doing is pinching, literally. And you can pinch really hard and squeeze outward, and that should do the job for you. So I hope this helped you. Um, please subscribe and like this video if it helped you out. And um, post your results below so that other people can see if this worked for you as well. So thanks so much for um, watching, and I'll see you in the next video.